In this video, we're going to complete example three. We're going to represent a table as a network diagram. You will notice that we have five people with Facebook profiles, Abby, Ben, Charlie, Diana, and Eric. Now, an F implies that the two people are friends. So we'll complete question A, we'll represent this table as a network diagram, and we'll start by labeling our vertices. So we'll need five vertices for five people. And when I draw my vertices, I like to draw them in a circular shape. I'm going to label them with the letters A through to E, since the first letter of each name is A through to E. Okay. So, first of all, you'll notice that Ben and Abby are friends. And you'll actually notice this in two different places where it says Abby and Ben are friends. All right. So that means A and B will be connected with an edge. Next, you'll notice that Charlie and Abby are friends, and you'll notice that in two different spots. Nevertheless, we just draw one edge between Charlie and Abby. All right, next one is Diana and Abby are friends. In two different spots, we can see that. So A needs to connect with D. Also, Charlie and Ben are friends. So we need to connect B with C. And finally, Diana and Charlie are friends. So we need to connect C to D. And you'll notice that Eric has no friends at all. Poor Eric. Anyway, that's question A done. Question B says, why does the vertex representing Eric have no edges connecting to it? Connected to it? Well, we just mentioned Eric has no friends. Anyway, that concludes example three. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.